Hey everybody, I'm Todd Anderson. And I'm Todd Stevens. And you're watching the Versus Series on StarCityGames.com. All right, so today on the Versus series, we're going to be moving into the modern format. Uh, this mm -hmm. is coming fresh off of a Jace the Mind Sculptor and Bloodbraid Elf Unban. Uh, I will say this. I don't have either of those cards in my deck. Ooh, I have... I wish I did. Probably should. One of those <laughs> cards in my deck. Okay. Well, uh, I would peg you to be a Bloodbraid Elf guy because you played a lot of that black-green Tireless Tracker Field of Ruin deck. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't know what he's playing yet. We don't know what each other are playing, but if you want to take a look at the deck list, you can check them out right below if you're on StarCityGames.com. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the link in the description. It should take you right to the page to have both deck lists. Uh, with that said, we don't know what we're playing. Uh, there's not a whole lot to talk about other than the modern format as a whole. I'm really enjoying it right now. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> um, um, I think this, so we're just coming off of SCG DFW last weekend. Um, I think the, the 75 I'm playing today is what I played at that tournament. So cool. hopefully I did really well with it. <laughs> you know, yeah, so. we're filming this right before. So yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that I, I would love to see you succeed. Yeah. And, you know, with a, a sweet deck, you know, Todd always brings really cool decks to modern and, uh yeah they're they're always a blast to watch so i hope it's yeah. it's it's good uh as for me i am not going to be going to seg dfw because i don't like to fly yeah it's and it's, away. it's about 40 hours of driving over there, you know? <laughs> yeah it's not gonna it's not gonna do that anyway let's go ahead and get to the match and see who takes it down all right we're here for wednesday so i'm still gonna be on the play i think i've been on the play like every single game i think I don't well, know. you did win the die roll, and you did lose both matches so far this week. So yeah, 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 makes, yeah. that story checks out. <laughs> so on the play again. Uh, so far, being on the play is not so great, but we have just lots of uh, early cards in our hand. So this this is a pretty obvious keep. So okay. uh, my side, my hand is pretty good. I think we. I mean, <laughs> it could be anything. That's that's kind of the whole point of this deck. So yeah, sure. Okay, okay. Um, so we have which land do we want to lead off with? We're, we're obviously going to need one of these pips up here, but um, I think I don't, I, I really hate shocking, so I don't think we need to like shock or anything yet. So I'm actually just going to lead with a Serum Vision, even though the Scry 2 could be awkward with the fetch land, but we'll draw first and then Scry 2. So you said you have one of the two ban or previously unbanned cards in your deck. My guess is that it is not Bloodbraid Elf. Considering you led with Island of Serum Vision. It may not be Blood Braid Elf. Okay. <laughs> um, I think we'll we'll take the the land and put the spell on the bottom. All Go right. Ahead. So we might draw a one drop creature and we don't have anything else to do. Um we could fetch shock before doing this uh to thin our deck by a land, but uh I don't Street want raid. to do that. Right, I'm yeah. at eighteen. So I don't we got some death shadow. Mm. Oh no. Now we're gonna we're gonna do it again. 16. Uh, Alright. <laughs> now my grape shot's a lot Go. easier. We got Jun Shadow. Mmm. Right. John Shadow. Go ahead. Is. I'm at 15. Let me get me a blood crypt. I am not going to take damage if that uh changes what you think I'm playing. Mm. <laughs> I do have I do have a, a pretty menacing clock over here. Yeah. Island Serum Vision Scalding Turn. All right, untap. Draw. Except for in Dallas, I'm not going to play Scalding Turn because mm. I don't own a Scalding Turn. I'll probably play a Plea of Delta. I well, he's playing a control deck. I don't really want to. I just run into everything, so I'm actually just going to make you discard. I try to. I want to see what's up before I start casting my real spells. Um, and if he counters it, he counters it. It's fine. It's kind of what we want anyway. Okay, so he's probably going to take this, but so then it's like, do, do I care that he takes that? I don't think I care that you take that. Okay. Those are your options. Paths opt. Two snappies? Snip snaps? Uh... I'll just take one and put this in. Okay. I think I can grind through a bunch of paths and snaps. Uh, I think I want to just cut them off of cards a tiny bit. Yep, we'll take the opt. 
Yeah. That is I got, the... I mean, his hand is super redundant. It doesn't matter that much. Like, taking a path just makes it so that he can only path three creatures. But he's almost 100% only going to path three creatures anyway, because he's <laughs> yeah. probably just going to go snap Seer and Visions next turn to try to find Jace or something like that. So, so do you think I should have cast Opt there? I don't, actually. I yeah, think, I don't think, I think so that either. was. I think that was fine. Okay, cool. All right, so you're at 19. Yep, so I'm at 19. All right, and draw. Yeah, I am going to go ahead and snap Serum Vision. If he had drawn a counterspell or something, I assume he would have held up Snap Opt. But, you know, I think it's it's bad to bluff in those scenarios because I just looked at his hand, so I, I kind of... So we obviously need this, this land here. So it's the card underneath the land. Um, hmm. I'm thinking it's still going to be good. I'm thinking Todd's so just going to have, like, some creatures, so some more removal is going to be good. All right, uh, the only card we care about in our hand to, to get on the battlefield is this Blood Crypt, so we're just going to play it uh, okay. before we cast Goblin Lore. Okay. We're going to draw four. I'm not even going to look at them. I don't, I don't I'll care. Just, I'll just choose some I ran. Oh, yeah, again. yeah, I know. I'm, I'm going to shuffle it first, though, yeah. and then you can pick them. <laughs> All right. All right, so I get three of them? Yeah, three go to the ground. All right, let's go, let's go middle row. Middle row. Yeah, okay. we'll go middle row. Not even yeah, I could have gone columns or row there. I don't want to know what they are. <laughs> All right. uh, ooh, blood gas. Oh no, I played my land already. That's yep. Played okay. your land already. Tilt. I guess I could have played a pretty Word good of the Hills goblin lore though. Getting rid of all those lands, you probably have a bunch of gas in your hand now. And the blood gas. That's. I'm assuming that was a very good goblin lore. Yeah, and his mm. card just like hollow one Gurmag angler. All right, since we have this other card in our hand, we're going to just go ahead and do this. Are we? Maybe I should just... Yeah, I, I'm just going to do this. Okay. Sorry. All right, so we got Delph 6. We'll leave a Blood Ghast and... I don't know, land. I don't think Street Wraith or anything like that matters. Go. And you don't have Tarmogoyf, and I don't have Tarmogoyf. Okay, so if I pass during my turn, I get to attack for two, but then the blood gas comes back into play. True there that. is that. True that. Um, I think that's still fine though. You're at thirteen. I think I'm. Can I race you? I think I may be able to race you. So the other option is to play this card, and just. We could just play Jason Bounce Gurmag Angler and just make you try to re-delve it. Oh, crap. Um, so the thing about that, <laughs> I think I'm still going path. I'm pretty sure I'm going path. The thing about that is it, le it does leave our Jace very vulnerable, and I don't, and I really don't want it to be that vulnerable. I want, I want to be able to get some value out of it. I guess that's, that is still kind of some value, but we got lots of paths and stuff, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and, and path here and... Yeah, I'm doing it during your upkeep. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'll just do it during your upkeep. So blood gas can't attack. Okay, so, so I no stay at 13. For me. Yep. You're still at 19. Yeah. All right, blood gas has summoning sickness. Would you like to quit? Sure. All right, draw for turn. So I know you have a path and a snap, and that's all I know. Yep. And this has summoning sickness. Yep. Uh, YOLO. Kind of want to mess with him a little. Mm, that's actually really good. <laughs> that's really good against me. My hand is get. My hand is awesome. <laughs> and and the top card of my library is awesome. Uh, it's gotta mess. Yeah. Gotta mess with them a little. All, All right, right. So we draw three. Oh gosh. I hope I discard those other cards I drew the second two. All right. All right. So we both have more than seven. So I ain't rolling any dice. The, yeah. This one. This one. This one. That one, that one, and this one's hiding back here. All right, so uh, you're wait, the three beast. that are up. Wait, what happened to that one? No, you had, did you have seven? Oh, yeah, it was probably this one. Yeah, Whatever. I think it was that one. That one was a little more up. Right. Oh, no! We get that Jace? Oh, my gosh. Did we get all three spells? Yeah, you got my path pass <laughs> now. <laughs> wow, that was those the best three cards of my uh, hand. We got to discard Flame White Phoenix. How's that? Best three cards of my hand. Uh, we don't have... Uh, uh, ferocious yet. Let's take a wow. look. Oh, we don't have Ferocious at all. 
Okay, so we can't attack with Blood Guest. That was... That was terrible. Let's do it again. Okay, well, now now my hand's trashed, so... Yeah, I mean, just... I don't want to do, you know, just, like, based on what you're saying and stuff, so... Right, yeah, no, that's just what you do. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, burning right. inquiry. Who? Who? Just gonna take those three. All right. Uh, oh, blood guest. That hurt. Jace entreat. Oh, did you check to see if entreat was the draw for the turn? It was not. <laughs> okay. Okay. <Yeah. laughs> that would have been cool. All right. Uh, so we will play land. Get back our other blood guest. <clears throat> Could have really used that Jace now too. Ugh. And. I'm gonna say go. Go. Field of Ruin. I think I just wanna save this. Okay, untap. Draw for turn. I will try for a Faith is Looting. That's good. That was a good draw. Discard two flame like phoenixes. Yep. I will try to play a flame blade at it. Yeah, that's good. I will try to play a hollow one. I'll yeah. counter it, and I think I'm just going to bounce snap. I think I just want my snap back. Could just draw a card. What am I really drawing to, though? Not much. Yeah, I'll take snap back. I'll bolt snap in response. Okay. All right. And then I'll hit you for four. All right, down to 15. Go. There are some scenarios where bolting the snap there would actually be backbreaking because the cryptic command sometimes only has a single target. Just FYI for future reference. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, that uh, one but had two targets. You had two targets on that one. So, like, if he ever chooses to draw a card, bounce snapcaster, or tap my creature's bounce snapcaster. Yeah. I don't think I have any more basics. I think I only have three. Yep. They gone. How many cards do you have in hand? Three? Three. Yep. All right. So we can go ahead and fetch with Wood of Foothills and get... Um, let's see. Do we have another Blood Crypt or do we only have two? We have one more Blood Crypt, so we can go get that. And then that'll let us flash back a Faithless Looting next turn, which will trigger the Flame Blade add up twice. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah. All right, so you're down to 12? Yeah. Even though that makes it so if my uh, Blood Guests ever die, uh, it's harder to get them to come back. But most of the ways that Todd will have to kill them will involve exiling. So. Except for the Supreme Verdict on top. Sure. All right, untap. You're off your turn. I'll uh, flash back eluding. Counter. Sure. I'll hit you for five. <clears throat> Down to ten. All right. Uh, go. Go. All right. So he does have snap cryptic mana. I think he's gone through only the two snap casters, so he could have that. Could have another cryptic. I will try again, I guess. I want to find a big creature. Or, uh, sorry. Do you have I have three flame wake phoenixes in the graveyard? Yeah, no more lootings. No more lootings. I don't think. All right, I will um, counter attack your team. With team three taps. blue. Sure. Uh, go. Go. Colonade. Uh, I will declare attacks. Yep. All right, hit you for five. Down to five. Go. Opt. Sure. Another bottom. Yeah. Draw. Mm -hmm. Go. All right. Weird. All right, I will declare tax. Tap draw. Okay. 
Uh, second main, I'm going to try to play Tassiger. Yep. It's going to give him a window to kill it before I can Phoenix, but I didn't want it to get hit with a Cryptic or a Snap Cryptic. And... Yep. Uh... Dead. Dead. I need the Jace that Jace real bad to reset this entreat. <laughs> I had both entreats in hand. <laughs> Gonna reset them. But yeah, those burning inquiries are just great. Okay, uh, over here for sideboarding, uh, we're gonna bring in white cards, take out blue cards. Uh, we want to be able to interact um, with uh, just all the creatures, everything. We want to be able to have uh, more exile stuff. Um, don't really want the the counter spells, you know. Like we, Todd can just like put a lot of stuff like uh, into play right away. Can put stuff from the graveyard into play. Uh, just relying on counter spells is not where I want to be. So um, that's what we got. Okay, uh, my side. I'm gonna be bringing in a couple of permanents that are pretty tough for him to deal with. Uh, we're gonna be trimming the bolts out of our deck mostly because the only real target is Jason Wine Sculptor, and only if he doesn't tick up immediately. Uh, but I think we have enough hasty style creatures and just creatures in general to put enough pressure on Jace. So I'm hoping that that just makes it a non-factor. Uh, we're bringing in uh, one of this card right here. That's the only one we have in our sideboard. Just as a way to help beat hate cards like uh, Rest in Peace or Graft Digger's Cage. If he has them, which I assume he has one or the other or, or you know, Relic of Genesis or something like that. So uh, we have that to hopefully help us against a hate card. So. Okay. Um, here for game two, we, uh, we got some lands and we got some, uh, ways to find more cards, but we're going to need to find some interaction. Uh, hopefully find that. Okay. My side, uh, we actually have a hand that I think is uh, kind of interesting because, uh, this hand is not good, but we have multiple ways to make it better. Um, one thing people do too much on turn one in this deck, I think is just cast faithless looting. And I think it's a card that you want to play a lot more like a brainstorm in this deck where you either want to make sure you can combo it with one more piece of discard so that you can actually play hollow ones, or you just want to use it later on to discard things that are particularly good in the graveyard. And since we're in a slow matchup, I'm definitely just going to wait on the, the Faithless Looting. Okay. <clears throat> 19, Mr. Stevens. Yep. Don't want to don't wanna shock. Got plenty of lands in our hand, don't need to. Yeah, this is why I didn't bring in Blood Moon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I figured you were just going to be fetching a bunch of basics. So. Okay. That's a card, at least. All right. And these are cards. Um, hey, cards. Keep them on top. I'm going to go this way. I think this this one's better early to maybe hit one of the, the cards you would play early. That one's better later. So. That's there. Mm, bonk. Go. Okay. We know we like the card on top. I'm gonna play this flooded strand though. Go ahead. Ooh, now that we know he likes the card on top, let's see if he wants to fetch it away or draw it and randomly just. No, oh, I know that's not. That's, that's just you. Card. Just me. All right, here's four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just me. <laughs> oh. All right. I was just okay. I need to do a better job picking the cards. I, I I didn't make you discard like any good cards last time. There's ten cards. Pick okay. three of them. Okay. I'm going to go, all right, so out of 10, I think. Just pick them. Let's go <laughs> number two, two, number okay. four, All right. and number seven. One, two, three, four. Wait, this, this, this would have been four. Oh. So that would have been five, I don't six, know, seven, just, and then eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay. okay. Hey, three lands, tight. I didn't. Need, <sighs> I, I had a bunch of lands in my hand, so that. No. Uh, all right. I think I still have a bunch of lands in hand, though, so. Okay, your turn. Okay, so we have a chance. We, we have a choice to fire our opt off here, but we know we're going to want to draw this card. I think I'm just going to go ahead and, and just draw it and save opt for next turn. We got plenty of mana, so that's another thing people don't do enough is save their draw spells when they know the top card and they know they want to keep it. Yeah. Okie doke. Uh, huh. <laughs> All right. Let's do it again. <laughs> this thing is so weird. It's awesome. It's honestly just really good too. Yeah, I mean, there you don't care. Like I, I could discard literally any three cards in my hand right now, and I don't think I would feel bad about it. Right. Which I think means the card is just great in the deck. Well, right, now so, we have eleven. So, so 
Two, four, seven didn't work last time. So let's try three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wait, and then five. So three, five, eight. That would have been this one. Sure. I'm going one up. I'm All right. We discarded two cards that I did not know were there. So okay. my hand is not getting that much better. Um, well, actually, that's probably not that bad. I will just cast this. Okay. Go. <clears throat> All right. Let's. Oh, no, it's free. Hold on. I forgot I discarded three cards. Give me a second. Okay. That actually changes things a little. All right. Well, I'm going to be fetching both of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... All right. I am going to cast this. Yep. And then I'm also going to cast this. And just hope I don't get verdicted. So yeah, let's just get so I'm just gonna get a basic planes. So I'm I'm not gonna have very like I'm not gonna be able to cast cryptic, you know, I have like the two islands planes, but but every time I do play against the Hollow One deck, they always do have Blood Moon in. So I am just playing around Blood Moon like I would. Mm-hmm. All right, and that's going to put me to 18, I believe, from the shock. Yeah, and then I'm going to be passing. So I'm at 17. Yeah, passing that thing. And opt. Yep. I like that. I'll keep that. Okay. Search for Scott. Okay. Good. So you have how many cards in hand? Five ish? Four. Okay. You could have just said yeah. It is close to five. That is, <laughs> five, that is ish. five ish. <laughs> All right. Um, drop. Boop. Uh, Faithless. Yep. One. Let's card this one. This one. Hey, no kidding. You really did have a lot of lands. Yeah. That's how we get rid of them, though. Yeah. That's a swamp scum. So you just got one mountain left. Hmm. Lands are getting tapped. I mean, yep. All right, so. Maybe I should do the not looking trick like you're doing. <laughs> so I'm not thinking about the cards. Yeah. I don't look at what I draw. I barely want to look at what goes in the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so you pick three. I'll pick these two and this one. Okay. These three. Okay. All right, we get, ooh, blood gas and a hollow one. Crap. I do not want to discard the hollow one. Got a supreme verdict and a timely reinforcements from me. It's not bad. No, it's not bad. In a I land, yep. I will collect a brutality and make you discard. Yeah, just look at my hand. Yeah. Um, I'll respond. I'll gain four life. Sure. Okay. Got so Twenty-one. Twenty. So I got two Jaces and snow. Did you take some damage somewhere that I missed? I, I, I did, did three fetches. 19. Three fetches. Oh, okay, sure. And now I just gained four. So, so you're twenty-one. Yeah. You have no hits. No. Oh, two Jaces cool. and snow. All right, four of you. All right, back down to seventeen. Do I have a looting in the graveyard? I was definitely really scared with the Blessed Alliance that you would hit a Flame Blade a or a Flame Wake Phoenix. I didn't have. I could have just cast my Hollow One uh, for one mana. Oh, your turn, because I played the Faithless looting, but I wanted to try to hit more stuff, and I there's a decent chance I hit the Hollow One. With. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna flip search. I am going to snap. Path, the hollow one. Okay. And then I'll play uh, rest in peace. I don't think I have another basic. I think they're all gone. I'm just going to double check. Yep. Well, I can't win anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I guess explosives for two yep. would 
Um, I mean, I would still lose to Jace. You had two Jaces or two snaps? I have two Jaces. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. All right. Kill this. Okay. Attack. You're at 15. 15. Go. So, yes, sir, obviously, we're playing Jace. We kind of have the, the unfortunate thing with our mana. No, it's, it's not that bad. All right, so playing Jace, I'm going to go ahead and brainstorm. Okay. I don't really care if that Jace dies with us having another. Um, we definitely don't want this card at all. That's a, that's a dead card. Um, so, let's put that back on top, and we'll put... That's 17, I think. Yeah, I guess we'll just put these two. That doesn't really matter. Put these two back on top. And actually, I'd, I'd rather have the fielder run and play. Sorry, whoops. <laughs> Put that in play. All right, go ahead. All right, tag Jace. Uh, discard. All right, so opt. Scry that thing to the bottom. And a brick, I'm sure. And you brick. Okay. Uh, go. Um. Brainstorm. Yep. Hmm. Just gonna put the two lands back. I could shuffle the Jace away, but I'm going to not do that. Um. Because it's really easy to die to like a bolt or a flame wake, Phoenix or something. So put that in into yeah second card. You gain three life. Yeah, go to twenty one. I was at seventeen. I'm at twenty. Okay. Up to twenty, and then we will feel the ruin. Your green. And I'll just get another planes. I got. I only got three blue. I only need a third white, unless I hard cast and treat, which hopefully doesn't ever happen. Okay, my turn. turn. Yep. Doop. Nice. Go. You put All a right. second from the top and then made me shuffle, and it was third from the top. <laughs> Opt. Yep. I probably can't win this game, but we're going to let Toss Stevens do his thing. I'll take it. Make him kill me. On tap. Draw. Um, I guess we'll just brainstorm first. Oh, well. Well, then. Well, I'm going to put win. these back on top. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, maybe I'll find a way to make you shuffle your deck. Okay. Okay. Um, go ahead. Ooh. Even if I drew Burning Inquiry, you could, I could miracle. Still, yep. Yeah, I could miracle it. That's funny. Yep. Okay, you win. Yeah, so that's why I did, that was actually I was kind of the, that's why I didn't like use a path <laughs> right now because, yeah, you Burning Inquiry. All right, we're here for game three. I've made a slight adjustment in sideboarding. Um, I'll just show you. Uh, I ended up uh, cutting all of these. Yeah. All these. Yeah. Okay. And then I just brought uh, some of these back in to help handle Mr. JSID. Uh My hand is pretty good. We're going to keep. So, yeah, this is one. Like, I would love to be on the play with this hand because it's slow. Uh, hopefully, this card does some stuff for us. All right. I'm going to cycle this. Ooh, we drew it. Go. I'm at 18. Yeah. Man. This next turn could be really bad for me or really good for you, depending on if you have rest in peace and whether or not I hit something great. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll go down okay. to 15. I, I want to keep the, the basics in my deck for sure. Right. Uh, because he has so many paths and fields of ruin and stuff. And uh, that's the way I can actually cast uh, all my stuff if he plays, what you call it? Um, oh, wow. Rest in peace. Portal? That's Look, nice. Man. Look, that we, got a, nice. we got a hodgepodge. It's hard to, this car is hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, that's nice. This huh? is the original printing, I believe. Oh, nice. Actually, uh, uh, Portal 2 was actually the first set of stuff I ever bought. I bought some starter decks of it. Oh, wow. I got a... My my most expensive card at the time was Armageddon. And then eventually, it's now Goblin Lord. 
All right, so we discarded Angler Bolt Phoenix. See if we drew any hollow oons. Ooh, we did draw a hollow oon. Uh, we'll cycle Street Wraith. So it's supposed to be a 13. Uh, trigger Flame Blade again. Yep. So it's uh, five total coming in. Yeah. Edge you for five and play this for free. Okay. Your turn. Well, now we're insulated from a rest in peace for this turn. This was a good draw. This card is very good in this deck. It yeah, was, that card's insane. In it the was deck. a lot worse in the versions with Vengevine because you wanted to save your creatures to trigger the Vengevines. Um, but being able to use Flame Blade Adept uh, as like a one mana, you know, potentially deal 10 damage or whatever is so cool. So that card's definitely going to the bottom. So this is the one that I'm thinking about leaving on top. It's it's definitely not great, but we will have the opportunity to... Oh, gosh. Flame Blade also. No, it's just got to go. Like, I don't necessarily want to play those next turn. It's just got to go. All right. Um, land go. All right. Well, we have to expect path here. I don't think you would keep a hand that didn't have a path in this spot. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we want to make sure we can get the Phoenix back. So he's probably going to pound this. Uh, so we have seven. So we'll Gurmag leaving just the Flame Wake. And then I will, uh, still before, actually I shouldn't play this lane yet, sorry. Alright, so, play Gurmag. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna cast, oh no, I should play it, actually. Well, it's it's a double-edged sword, because either I might discard the land and not get, be, get Phoenix back, or if I draw Bloodgast, uh, I won't, and put it into the graveyard, I actually won't get to trigger it. Uh, regardless, I'm going to do this. I just have to figure out if I want to play this land first or not. Okay. And I think that I do. Alright. Okay. Top three. So I definitely have to cast Path in response. We can't have our Path leave. That would just be okay. that would just be horrendous. Now what's a Path? I think it's kind of hard. Flame Blade Adept is really, really good. I mean, it's, the odds of it doing more than four damage this turn are really small, and then the odds of it doing four damage on the next turn after that are even smaller. See, the thing is... Or no, sorry, I, I am about to do four. So I guess it could do slightly more. That's fair. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is if I have Snap Path next turn, I can chomp this a lot easier. Right, and you can't than, block this. Right, and I can't block that. I mean, I have this too, so I got... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Path, <laughs> Snap Path, Chomp. Yeah, okay. So, it's tough. Um... I think still, though, because I could still snap past this if it's big, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the hollow one. Okay. Uh, all right, so you draw three, discard three. You said you weren't going to look. <laughs> well, actually, I had a miracle <laughs> on top. I decided not to reveal it, though. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> all right, so I got to draw my three. Doop. And we both discard three. And then I'm probably just going to be triggering this phoenix and attacking for six, but we'll see. All right, um, we'll just group them. I'll kill these three. Oh, wow. All right, I we discarded two lanes and a bolt. Blessed, blessed Jace. Ooh. Okay, uh, trigger, bring back Phoenix, hit you for six. All right, down to nine? Yeah. Uh, I'm at 13. Here we go. Hmm. Really need those blessed alliances. At least one. Really both. Um, I wasn't playing Bless Alliance this turn, but but next turn and the turn after, I needed the Sack Creature gain four, Sack Creature gain four. Mm -hmm. At least one of them. That was pretty rough, discarding both of them with all these cards. <laughs> yeah. Man, these Burning Inquiries have yeah. been insane. <laughs> Games one and three. Such such looks. <laughs> such looks. Wow. Um, so we, we, have to, we have to do this this turn. So we're gonna have to do. Go. Cool. All right. So uh, snap path is almost one hundred percent here. Uh, there's no other. I mean, I guess like bless alliance plus path could be a thing. Like pass this, and then I sack this to bless. He takes four. But well, we drew a land. That means I think we can pretty reliably cast this without any real punishment. Uh, so we'll play this. Like I was thinking about not playing a creature and just force like force him to have day of judgment next turn and then hopefully kill him uh, the next turn. But I think this is fine. Yep, that's good. All right. Um, 
I will declare attacks, I guess. Yep. Okay, okay so we're going to be snap passing. I think... So I need to get rid of like one of these creatures that keeps coming back. I think my best chance is to top deck uh, Supreme Verdict. It's not looking good. Do I just keep dis yeah, just keep randomly discarding my swamp without realizing it. <laughs> All right. All right. So I think I may just just chomp the angler and path a blood ghast, and then hope I can verdict and you don't have anything to bring back Phoenix. Mm -hmm. This isn't good. Um, but yeah, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so you take three. You're at six. I will. There, right, I'll pass. No, dead. Tilt. Yep, nothing that interacts with the board. Burning Inquiry is so good. Yeah, that card, that card is insane. It's Both basically games. thought seeds. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like double triple thought seeds. Like each time you discard three good cards, all three of these are better than anything else. See, I'm, I'm actually a master at tracking how you set your hand up, and every time I picked at random, oh, okay, I was I was getting you. you okay, know? yeah. <laughs> all right, so that was modern for this week. Uh, I I don't know if we've. Uh, I haven't really checked in the past few weeks if we've actually played the Goblin Lore uh, Hollow One deck yet. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, but it's something that caught my eye at the Pro Tour. It definitely looked cool. Um, it's very close to a lot of stuff I was working on. Uh, like I, I tried like the Death Shadow Vengevine deck. Uh, you know, I tried the normal Vengevine deck, right. and this one just looked awesome. You know, it, it implemented all of the the things that I had been thinking about trying, but never actually took the time and guts to actually try it. Like Goblin Lore Burning Inquiry, just very. Uh, I guess no brainer additions to the deck now. Once once you've actually cast the card in the deck, you realize that you know for one single card, even if you're losing a card, you have so yeah. many things to put in the graveyard. Uh, on top of that, uh, they both get Hollow One onto the battlefield immediately because you discard three. Right. Uh, and Burning Inquiry kind of just screws your opponent sometimes. So, <laughs> yep. Yep. You know. Uh, so yeah, the the deck seems really cool. Uh, I I don't know if I would recommend it for like a high level tournament. It did top eight a Pro Tour. Honestly, I think so. I think it's actually in a good spot right now. With uh, I think it has a really good Jund matchup because it just goes underneath Jund. It's it's really good against Lightning Bolt, sure. which is like a real important thing in the format mm -hmm. to be real good against Lightning Bolt. And uh, and yeah, you know, it does have well, like it's those also yeah. I mean, like th I think there there was this weird spot where cards like Tarmogoyf weren't that great in Modern because of the card Fatal Push. Mm -hmm. But now that everyone is playing Bloodbraid Elf, they want to be able to cascade into proactive things. And also, they want ways to actually interact with Jace the Mind Sculptor as well. So, like, Lightning Bolt, seeing a lot more play, does make, uh, like, stuff like Hollow One, uh, uh, Gurmag Angler, like, these larger creatures better. Yep. Because people are incentivized to play cheaper removal. Uh, and then, on top of that, like, Fatal Push doesn't kill them either. So, like, you have this insulation from, from the cheap removal, which I really like. So Yeah, I do too. Yeah, so I actually think it's in a good spot. I think it's a good deck. Yeah, I mean, the, the game you cast Rest in Peace felt really bad, though. Yeah. Yeah, you're really relying on the graveyard, that's for sure. Uh, Graph Digger's Cage doesn't seem like a big deal. Relic of Virginia seems like a really bad thing for me. Uh, I mean, well, this... Rel relic, you can still... Like, you can refill, you know? So, yeah. like, they have to pop their Relic, right? That's true. Yeah. And then you can refill. Rest in Peace is just the worst, because it's just... You're, you're done. Yeah. Uh, I'm very happy uh, with uh, Flame Wake Phoenix. That was a card mm -hmm. that uh, I had just missed completely when, when I was testing the deck initially. And the fact that uh, he found it, I, I forget his name, the guy who top aided the Pro Tour with the deck. Uh, he's, yeah, I don't know. he's a really good player. He, he, I think he top aided another Pro Tour. Anyway, uh, you know, kudos to him. The, the deck is really cool and it's a lot of fun. And I'm really glad that I get to play it now. So. Yep. Yeah, I love it. Anyway, uh, make sure to tune in tomorrow where we will be delving into the legacy format, pun intended, uh, both on Delver and probably delving some spells. I don't yep. know. Treasure Cruise. Yeah. Is that still around? Dig through time? No. <laughs> no, those were banned long ago. It's been a minute. Uh, but yeah, we should be diving into that tomorrow. Make sure to tune in to that. Uh, that's all I got today. Yeah, that's all I got. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching the Versus series on StarCityGames.com. We'll see you tomorrow.